Hello everyone, welcome back to my review channel. Today I'm going to be doing another movie review of the next film, Toxic Avenger Part 3, The Last Temptation of Toxie. The Last Temptation of Toxie. Toxic Avenger 3. This is the director's cut, uh, 1989. Um, well, International Movie Database gave us a 3.6. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes wasn't even rated, and audience gave it like a 30% overall audience liked it. So, um, let me see. The budget was uh, $500 million, but in the movie, there's a quick snippet. Someone says a line. They, they break the fourth wall in trauma films all the time. Like, as in saying, we know this is a movie, we have a make fun of ourselves. So even in the movie, they mention that the movie only cost a budget of like two uh, two million, but Wikipedia says their budget was five hundred thousand. So uh, we don't know for sure, uh, but the box office made like three over three hundred sixty thousand at the box office. So here we go. A quick synopsis: uh, Toxic Avenger fights Satan. Or the devil, I should say. Toxic Avenger fights the devil. Quickest synopsis I could put up. Um, let me see. So now we got the third movie in, Toxic Avenger, part three. Last Temptation of Toxie. The, it starts off with a quick recap of the first two films with the narration by the Toxic Avenger himself, Melvin. Um, then it shows goes on to show agents of Apocalypse Inc. going into a video store. A video rental store. Now, this is back to VHS, so you get to see all these VHS movies. Um, and just wrecking at it. They're just causing chaos here, actually hurting people and causing disruption. Um, then in comes uh, the Toxic Avenger. So now, like I said, when they when they break the fourth wall a lot, this is a lot. The trauma builder, or trauma, <laughs> trauma films. And now, again, like, there's movies posters of movies everywhere, and one of them is the Toxic Avenger. Get that. So now, um, Toxic Avenger shows up and totally dismantles the whole crew. Uh, very, very comedic fashion with this whole, like, this whole crew. It's just causing chaos. Very, it's hilarious. One of the dudes here is half of his face, half of his complete face is shaven. So his beard, he has a beard one side and a head that one side, but like other side is completely bald and completely shaven. So, and that completely bald and shaven is like painted. So it's, that's funny. That's just hilarious to me, just to see kind of like that. Um, so now, uh, gets, let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Gets killed. Let me see. So, a good gore part here with the fights. Like, guy gets killed with a, B, a VHS recorder. Like, shoves his arm in and stuff. And it's like, you get to see it happen. So, good gore in this part. The beginning rips off one of the dude's head by shoving his... Uh, well, I'm sorry. Toxic rips off one dude's head by shoving his bop through his skull. And then, like, twists and rips it off. Good gore parts in this. Good gore. Good gore. Um, again, it's B-rated gore. But good gore nonetheless. Um, so after that, Toxic Avenger, as the narrator, goes into the past, telling about how like he started to narrate how this how this is start this wasn't always like this and yada yada yada, and then it goes into the past a little bit. It doesn't really tell you it's going into the past, but it does. Um, it lets you know that hey, this is how it started. Um, so Toxic narrates. Uh, so far, he has to try to find a job because he's getting depressed. There's nothing to do. He's already cleaned up crime. He's getting depressed and stuff. Tries to find a job. And while Claire wants to try to get her eyesight back, um, this um, puts a plan in motion for Apocalypse Inc. Now, uh, Apocalypse Inc. are back in their uh, headquarters trying to think of what to do. And he shows... The head chairman up in his spot with all the execs down there, and the executives are trying are telling the chairman, you know, this is what we've been doing, uh, and then the chairman goes on to berate them to say, hey, uh, this that was that's small time, man. We need something bigger than that. Um, 
So later on, Chairman hatches a plan to actually get Toxic to work for Apocalypse Inc. Um, Toxic gets a in the mail a job opportunity to work for um, Apocalypse Inc. as a spokesman for their good good deeds. Um, right before this, you get to see a little bit more of what Toxic's doing. So he goes, he's like trying to like do his other job thing, it's not working. He goes to church for a little spiritual pick me up, and the sermon will come into play again and again. It's part of like it's part of the plot line of this movie. Um, let me see, sermon. Uh, like I said, look, so Apocalypse thing goes gives a job opportunity, job opportunity to the Toxic Avenger. Toxic Avenger goes over to their headquarters for the interview. Uh, obviously, he gets the job, and uh, this takes you uh, back to the scene the, where the sermon comes into play. The scene gets much darker, but Toxic Avenger still doesn't know what's going on, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's like they're down and getting down in the depths of hell. Um, let me see. Chairman uh, makes uh, an announcement outside City Hall with the Toxic Avenger saying how this is my new spokesman and this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to help Tromaville. But uh, Toxic Avenger just doesn't see, really see what they're doing right now. But all the air Tromaville is just still there just like in awe. Like if Toxic's even there helping Apocalypse things with this. So now um, you get to see Tr Apocalypse Inc. takes over Tromaville spreading waste everywhere, the toxic waste wherever they go. Right now, also, Claire is getting her sight back. She got to operation. Now that Toxic Bender has this great job, he got this great paycheck. So now she's able to get her eye, uh, go to get surgery for her eyesight back. So now she gets her eyesight back, sees a doctor, she screams, he's like, oh my god, that's ugly. And he's like, supposed to be this handsome man. And, um, but this is the first time she sees Toxic Avenger. Obviously loves him no matter what he looks like, and you know they get along just fine. Um, right after this, you start to slowly see Toxic Avenger, Toxie slowly start to form this like yucky, yuppie corporate persona. Like he starts to slowly turn into a, like you know a yuppie, um, a yuppie of the day of the, like the eighties, early nineties. Um, now, uh. Another, he starts to have, like, another nightmare during this time of, again, involving the sermon. Involve, and this one involves, like, a, let me see, a naked chick painted in, like, uh, you know, like, just, like, face paint or whatever, body paint all over. Just, like, a psychedelic woman really there. Just, you know, black light. So, there you go. Um, this puts, right, after, right during this dream... Uh, let me see. He has the nightmare. This nightmare starts to totally, totally turn back to the, um, the chairman and to the sermon. And then, uh, Toxic Avenger finally realizes what he's doing and that the Apocalypse Inc. is evil. So now he decides to clean up Tromaville again from the evil Apocalypse Inc. Um, now this is when we get back to the present. Right now. So this, right now, he's, he goes back to the present. He just beat up the people at uh, the in the rental, in the video rental place. And now he's off to do more stuff. This shows a montage right after, right now, it shows a montage of Toxic Avenger just cleaning up Troboville, doing one thing at a time, just cleaning it up. Helping people cross the road and stuff, you know, old people. Um, after, then he goes head straight, right after helping montage, helping people more around town. He heads straight to Apocalypse Inc.'s headquarters, which is in no other place but a church. Takes over the church as the headquarters of Apocalypse Inc. Um, so now, while they're toxic is with the, uh, the rest of Tromaville people from Tromaville, calls out uh, Apocalypse Inc. for being evil. He's like, I'm not going to put up with it anymore. None of else will. I know you're evil, and I'm not going to work for you anymore. So now, this um, makes the chairman, he's like, you don't, you don't know who I really am. It's time for me to show you. Turns uh, in this great fashion, uh, turns into the devil. The devil basically jumps out in a very cool gore fashion 
jumps out of his chest, like rips his chest from out from the inside, the cherubim, and comes out. So it's really the it's the same person. It's even the same actually plays the same person. Same plays the devil and the cherubim. Um. Now, uh, first thing they so this is a toxic versus devil fight. The devil tries to turn it into like a game that the Toxic Avenger was playing earlier on, the five levels of doom. So he's like level one, you know, tries to bury Toxic Avenger in the ground. But Toxic Avenger leaps up with the devil saying, this is one toxic waste that you just cannot keep buried. Um, the next devil tries to uh, set Toxic Avenger on fire. The cool part, because um, the, the devil is on fire himself, melting or whatever, his makeup's just like melting, and but he's on fire just to set the Toxic Avenger on fire, just like hits him and it sets him on fire too. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. He, he's, the, the, uh, trauma, trauma billions were able to put, splash water on Toxic, put him out, and Toxic Avenger puts the devil out via peeing on the devil. So there you go. Um, Next, the devil tries to, uh, the devil, like, and this, this is weird. He puts all the, like, a bunch of children on a bus and drives the bus around and just, like, sets it on a cliff. First of all, he does, he, he, like, gathers people inside the bus, like, like they're going to school, first of all. So, talks to Avengers, like, watching. He does nothing. It's funny just because as long as the time passes, Toxic Avenger could have done something. The whole village, the whole, I say village, the whole town was just watching. It's like, yeah, well, he was just, the devil was just talking to him. It was like, yeah, you see what I'm doing? I'm just hauling kids on this bus. And this is going to take like three minutes. But, okay. Anyways, all the kids are on bus. He drives the bus to the end of a cliff using his magic. And by magic, you mean backwards motion. Backwards, backward film motion. So they already filmed Buzz going over. They just pressed, they just pressed rewind on that tape recorder and just showed it going up that mountain. <laughs> Gets up, and that's exactly how they showed Toxic Avenger going up and getting to the edge of the cliff. That was funny too. So they threw a, uh, they threw Toxic, a fake Toxic dummy, off the cliff, and it showed him like go up the same way. So that was really kind of funny stuff. Good B-rated comedy right here. Um. He's toxic has to get all the kids out the back of the bus because it's about to like go forward or off the cliff and the devil is trying to shake the mountains to like shake the mountains to make the it go off. So now, but he, toxic was finally able to get the last kid off right when the bus fell and the bus fell right on one of the executives being the leader of the bad girls. Uh, it falls right on her since she shrivels her legs up the. Uh, like, uh, you know, Wicked Witch of the East or whatever, or the West. Shoot, I can't remember that. <laughs> um, and then, uh, after that, the devil rebuilds the bus, back to normal, gets back on, <laughs> drives along, tries to run over, um, Toxic, Toxic jumps onto the hood of the bus, and then the devil drives with Toxic on the hood. Oh, God. It's a dummy Toxic. It shows a dummy Toxic on there, and it has to be strapped down with rope. So you get to see that, and it's still, it's funny stuff just to see that. I mean, come on, man. Um, anyway, drives Toxic into this little pool of murky, muddy water that was just like in a construction site. I guess they just built it for the film, just like, you know, dig a hole and put water in it. Um, drives it in there, so... Death via water. Uh, but no. Oh, wait. The fuck? The damn, uh, it, bus blows up, too. The bus blows up again. Here we go. Blows up. But Toxic safe. Leaps out, and he's safe. Um, now it's, uh, time for the last one. Let me see. This is, like, the last level of Doom. So Tox, so what Devil does is turn Toxic Avenger back into Melvin. Very good. My thumbs up to this gore, slime gore part right here. Because he melts Toxic Avenger's skin off. 
very great slime gore to this part right here. It's very funny. Very, well, not really funny. It's very good. It's just good slime gore. It's awesome. Uh, they use multi-colors in this. Um, just for the skin melting. And then it comes back together as Melvin. Again, with the backwards motion. They made like a dummy. Put his face on then it melted. And, you know. Via backwards and then... Yeah. Um... Melvin, as talks about her, as Melvin, back into Melvin now, tries to fight the devil, can't do it, uh, can't fight the devil as Melvin. Um, Claire tries to help, uh, and aims a gun at the devil, but the devil, like, blinds her again. So now she, Claire's back to being blind. Um, this makes her leave, and, like, in post-haste, the next scene, next thing you see of her is... Searching through the house at Toxic, their house, searching for the contract. Okay. So Claire goes to find the contract while Melvin is there. Uh, it's just like being pooped on by the devil, laughed at. I should have said this earlier. There's this part where Melvin shows up in like a bad dream, the first bad dream with Toxie. And it should be said that this is not the same Melvin. Obviously, this is not the same actor who played Melvin. Uh, I will mention that I wa in the like interviews with him, uh, their act first, the actor that played Melvin in the first film, the main, the main actor, the guy, um, it interviewed him in one of the movies, I think the fourth movie of this, and I was watching the commentary, the interviews with these guys that interviews him again, and they asked him, was like, wait, why weren't you in the third one? And apparently, he wasn't in it over. I just over two thousand dollars. I think if I remember right, it was over. Just they didn't want to pay him as much as he wanted. He felt like he wanted to get paid, and I think it was only like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. And uh, Lloyd was just like, "No, we're we'll just get someone else." So I don't even know how much they paid this kid. It's probably just like a hundred bucks to do this. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's why you don't see the original Melvin in this movie. It made me sad. Uh, they should have paid him two thousand. I can't believe this budget was. If they were correct. If this budget was two million, the way they said in this movie, they should have just fucking paid him. Um, it would have been worth that just to see the original actors, even then. Anyways, I digress. Um, so Claire comes back with the contract that she found at the house, and again, post haste, that house must have been just like around the corner. Must they must have been in the backyard of their house? Um, but anyways, she's arrived. Got finds a finds a a uh, what a, a clause finds a ter, um, termination clause in the contract, which is basically an act of God termination clause. Basically saying if there's an act of only she's he's only going to get terminated if there's an act of God. And the devil goes on to say, "Hey, where is he? He's not around. Ah, oh, see, I won, I won." And then. Oh yeah, there's just some dude that comes up on a bike with a with a tag that says angel on it and gives like gives this golden rod or something to Melvin. Basically saying, here's your here's your act of God. Turns Melvin back into to Toxic Avenger, and then Toxic Avenger goes on to beat it, the devil. Um very good gore part here too. Uh Rips the devil's skin off. Okay. So it shows the devil like just his head with like bones and snakes, rats, maggots all over his like ribs with inside of his like organs of meat and stuff. So good gore part of that. And then um, Toxic rips his face off and toss it, rips his head off and tosses it. And then the last scene, he gets it, well, not the last scene, but then you get to see. The head, like, you get to see Japan, they're in Japan with the newscaster that you've seen in the second film, interviewing someone else on the street of Japan, and the head that Toxic threw, the, the devil, lands on the guy the newscaster is interviewing. So, a little comedic part there, and it goes from, like, the, the second film. So, um, the indeed is with the Toxic Avenger, again, back to normal, being celebrated, that he's, uh, you know, back to normal, and the town's back to normal, and they, sh it shows 
Toxic Avenger and Claire in church getting hitched. So now they're married. Married at the very end of that film. So that's how it ends. Good stuff. I liked it. I love these films. Um, uh, it, yeah, there we go. That's end of it. That's how it, that's how it was. If you haven't seen these films, you really should. Um, it's really good B-rated stuff. Not for kids, of course, but, uh, really good stuff here. I still have one more to do. One more. Uh, Toxic Avenger 4, Citizen Toxic. But, uh, that's another day. It's coming. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. Leave any questions, comments, anything in the bottom. I'll be sure to write back as soon as I can. You guys have a great day, and thank you for watching.